This LOS is explain the capital allocation line and the capital market line. The capital market line. The capital market line runs from the risk-free rate tangent to the efficient frontier. So here we have the risk-free rate and here we have the efficient frontier which we have seen in a previous LOS and there's our market portfolio. So actually the capital market line is a capital allocation line but it's a special case capital allocation line because it's running tangent to the efficient frontier. So this is part of our portfolio management theory. Recall, I could have a portfolio here, which I'll call P, and if I drew a straight line from the risk-free rate to P, then we're gonna call that a capital allocation line. A capital allocation line is a straight line from the risk-free rate to any portfolio. The capital market line is a special case. It runs a straight line from the risk-free rate tangent to the efficient frontier. And that uh, is important because that slope gives us the best return to risk uh, ratio, which is the best sharp ratio, as I've mentioned in a previous LOS, okay? So a couple of things to look at here. As we know, we could have 100% invested in the risk-free rate, or I could reduce my investment in the risk-free uh, asset and put some percentage into the market portfolio until I get here, where I have 100% of my capital in the market portfolio, okay? So they call this side a lending portfolio because you're lending to the government. Um, you're investing in a risk-free asset. The government's borrowing money from you. So that's why they call that the lending portion. You don't have all your money in the market portfolio. Over here on the right-hand side, they call that borrowing because you can borrow money. You can borrow money and invest that borrowed money into uh, putting more into the market portfolio. So you're creating leverage so you can go out uh, to the right of the market portfolio, okay? So you can see, for example, if I borrowed money and invested here, say uh, 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 portfolio T, then I would have this expected return and this expected risk, which is more than the expected return for the market portfolio and expected risk for the market portfolio because I'm using borrowed money, okay? So you can see then, the slope of the line is the expected return of the market portfolio minus the risk-free rate divided by the standard deviation of the market portfolio. Therefore, my expected return anywhere along this line would be the risk-free rate plus the standard deviation of that portfolio. So here I have the standard deviation of T, for example, times the slope of that line. And as we saw the slope of that line, is expected return of the market minus the risk-free rate divided by the standard deviation of the market, okay? So that is the capital market line and the capital allocation line. The capital market line is a special case capital allocation line that runs from the risk-free rate tangent to the efficient frontier, and that slope gives us the best risk-to-return ratio or the best sharp ratio. So a quick practice question to check our understanding. For an investor borrowing money at the risk-free rate to invest in the market portfolio, the estimated rate of return on his portfolio is most likely to A, increase, B, decrease, or C, remain unchanged. I think that was an easy one. The correct answer is A, an investor who wants to, retain, wants to attain a higher estimated rate of return than the market may want to use leverage by borrowing money at the risk-free rate. So here, if we have our expected return, here we have our risk. Remember, here was our risk-free rate. We drew the capital market line, uh, which was tangent to the efficient frontier. Here we had the market portfolio. This we called uh, a borrowing, and this we called a lending portfolio. And as we said, um, the investor can borrow money and invest it in the market portfolio and that is creating leverage, which will create a higher expected return, but at a higher expected risk. So we're just going to finish this LOS with two quick practice questions. The first one, which of the following statements is least accurate? An investor may construct a portfolio located on the capital market line by A, investing a portion of his capital in the risk-free asset and the balance in a fully diversified portfolio of all equities, B, investing a portion of his capital in the risk-free asset and the balance in a fully diversified portfolio of all risky assets, 
or C, borrowing capital at the risk-free rate and investing all his capital plus all borrowed capital in a fully diversified portfolio of all risky assets? Okay, the correct answer is A, because that statement is incorrect. Remember, read the care, uh, questions carefully. It says, which of the following statements is least accurate? And uh, it says, investing a portion of his capital in a risk-free asset and the balance in a fully diversified portfolio of equities. No, it's not equities. It's a portfolio which consists of all risky assets because that's the portfolio management theory. So one last quick practice question to end the LOS. A portfolio with equal parts invested in a risk-free asset and a risky portfolio will most likely lie on A, the efficient frontier, B, the security market line, or C, a capital allocation line. So the correct answer is C. A capital allocation line shows possible combinations of a risky portfolio and the risk-free asset. And that's the last slide for this LOS. Thank you.